Hi, I'm Mike Hernandez, and I actually just found out that uh, when my son is angry, he he farts. <laughs> I just, uh, we were in the bookstore, he was mad about having to put a book away, and he just sits there. And three seconds of silence, and then I just hear, <laughs> and my wife told me he does that every time he's angry. And I have to say, it's not the worst expression of anger I've ever seen. Welcome to Rumble Book Club. I'm your host, Mike Hernandez, and this is the show where a normal guy like me can talk about interesting books I've read, old and new, good and bad. So if you like the show, you like the content, you like the books that I talk about, or maybe I just have a punchable face. Whatever keeps you clicking, foo. You can follow me on Twitter and Parlor and TikTok, and more importantly, you can subscribe on my channel on YouTube and Rumble. But more importantly, be a part of the conversation, leave comments, share this with your friends, let me know if there's any books you want me to talk about, and I might even add them to the list, do a video of them, and give you a shout out for pushing me on to a good book. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new release, it's one I was uh, looking forward to, and the guy's been plugging it like no other on his show. Today we're going to take a look at... Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds by Michael Knowles. Michael Knowles is the host of the Michael Knowles Show on the Daily Wire, as well as the Book Club by PragerU, which is a competitor, so you should go watch that show, but also watch this one. All right, let's get into our three-part criteria of the book. Let's take a look at the aesthetics. It's got simple text, simple imagery here. You have a person that has a, uh, a cover over their mouth. It's tied. Um, controlling Words, Controlling Minds. you got the subtitle there, and then you've got the author. You know, nothing overblown, no distractions. Great job on the, the printer, great job on Michael Knowles on picking a good cover. So as far as the, the aesthetics go, strong, nine out of 10. Michael Knowles is a graduate graduate of Yale University. He's a very educated person. He reads a lot of the classics. He's very, very learned in, in history, economics, a lot of um, different topics. And you can definitely tell by the way it's written. It's very academic in its approach. Uh, if colleges weren't so viciously against anything from the from the right side of the aisle, I could actually see this being on the sil syllabus for a course on you know political science. Now, with that being said, it, it does make it somewhat tough to read during certain points due to the massive amount of information you're having to take in. I mean, he he fills this thing cover to cover with just solid, dense information and. There are parts where it definitely feels like you're drinking from the fire hose. Now, despite the fact that it can be a little difficult to read, it does have some quick wit between those big walls of information, and physically, the book is actually very easy to read. It's got off-white pages with uh, clear print, and uh, or clear clear fonts, and the margins are, are pretty well with good paragraph breaks uh, and chapter breaks. He is very line linear, and, and he layers the information well. Um, that way it, it makes it much more easy for you to grasp the concepts at one after the other. So as far as the readability goes, strong 7 out of 10. Ooh. Now let's look at the content. Knowles provides immense amounts of information and data that proves that conservatives have been losing the war for American hegemony culturally and politically to the left due to true two primary shortcomings. So the first things that Republicans did wrong is they ignored the first phase of the left's war on American founding ideas, which was to dominate all aspects of the culture from entertainment to information and most importantly, the academic institutions. The left knew that if you work on a population's youth for long enough and control the language that they use along with help from their entertainment and the news that they watch every day, you can break down the system that you don't like. Kind of a helpful comparison to think about how they did this was think about when you're changing trying to change your hair color you don't just add coloring to your hair because the old color would obstruct the new color and ruin it you bleach down the original hair color first to kill the original coloring to get the new color that you want the left uses this tactic by broadening all the topics of discussion what we we deemed appropriate as being up for debate as being able to possibly implement into our society by broadening that that area to include their un-American talking points. The second way that Republicans failed is they failed to learn from that process and tried clinging to broad slogans once they lost those institutions. They clung to these broad slogans that don't actually describe their own values, such as just the broad topic of freedom of speech. That's something that doesn't actually necessarily describe your exact stance. It doesn't show what you really believe in. 
Once the left had control over all the levers of power, they began shutting all the doors that they had opened decades earlier by keeping their talking points in that they had allowed through the door and kicking out the original values they sought to destroy. An example of this is with gay marriage. For hundreds of years, we understood that marriage was the eternal union of a man and a woman. There was no dispute over that, and to propose anything otherwise was actually completely unacceptable. It was outside the Overton window, as it would say. Now, using their institutional control, led by the universities, the left changed the language used to describe what marriage actually was by saying that marriage was simply the union between two people in love. One common slogan that was used to, to help push that, and that's still used today, is this phrase, love is love. Now the left also got some help from the Supreme Court when they surpassed their own reach, their own judicial reach, and made a law for the legislative branch creating same-sex marriage. Once that was solidified through and codified through law and in the culture and in the news and in society as a whole, now they kicked out anyone that believes otherwise, that believes the original principle of what marriage is. An example of that would be uh, the ch owner of Chick-fil-A, being uh, ripped in the media and through public culture for simply saying that he believes in traditional marriage between a man and a woman. Another example would be the owner, I believe Jack Phillips is his name, of the Masterpiece Cake Shop in Colorado, who's been harassed uh, for, I believe it's around six, six to eight years now, for refusing to bake a cake for a gay wedding because it's against his Christian beliefs. So the left took this process and has been using it weaponizing it for topic after topic after topic and michael knowles's point is that if we want to fight back we can't cling to a single political leader to save save us but we also can't use these broad statements to try and push our way back into the culture the way to do it is to actually dig our heels in come together as a conservative group describe and codify what our true beliefs actually should be dig our heels in and push from that standpoint and go back and try to regain cultural hegemony. This is a great book that is masterfully researched. There is, I think, well over 100 pages of sources and notes. You know he's not pulling this out of random talking points. He's grabbing all this from news sites from the left side of the aisle, center, and the right. I think it's fantastically done. Michael Knowles does a great job as far as the content goes. Perfect, 10 out of 10. I got this book from Barnes & Noble. You can find it at any of, any of your local bookstores, maybe with the exception of secondhand stores. I don't think they would have it quite yet. Uh, if all else fails, you can buy it on Amazon, other online sources. The book is Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds by Michael Knowles. Go out and get yourself a copy. Thanks for watching, everybody, and go read something. Oh my god, that's my favorite story yet. Yeah. <laughs>